we're back. So um, what we're gonna do is eyes first. I usually do eyes first. And I'm going to fill in my brows. Sometimes I do them after or before, it just depends. There's no rhyme or reason. I'm going to use uh, this color right here and this color right here because I'm kind of in between. Any taupes are good. I'm going to do it in my magnifying mirror to start because I can't see anything. And um, you just want to fill in. Mine are kind of uneven, so I'm just going to even that. So I'm going to lift this one a little bit in here because it's sort of has more of an arch. I'm going to create an illusion that it's higher right in here. And this side I'm just going to leave as it is. I'm still warm and sweaty from my shower and I'm wearing a hot sweater. I have not put on powder. I'm not going to put on powder. I usually don't use powder. You can use it to set everything or not. I like the luminous kind of look. I might powder the T-zone at the end. So then I'm just evening out the brow. I like a nice bold brow these days. Back to the 80s, which a lot of you won't know what that is. I'm going to try the lights like this and see what's better for everybody. And for me, Again, balance it out in there. Some people like to use a pencil. I don't mind a pencil. I don't mind shadow. I just use whatever I have handy. So we're just doing shadow today with an angle brush. And it doesn't have to be a very thin angle brush. It can be a thicker angle brush. I use a different angle brush for my liner. And I do for my eyebrows. So I think that's a bit better. I'm not completely symmetrical, but nobody is. And the idea is just to create that illusion that it is more symmetrical. It does not have to be perfect by any means. So again, I'm very warm. So I'm just going to pat. Again, if you get hot, just pat. Next, I like to create a luminous look, so I'm just going to use, I love this Arbonne palette, it's amazing, non-toxic, vegan, no animal testing, all natural, organic, no chemicals. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous palette, I think it's called the Hamptons, I've got a new one coming out for the holidays which will feature next time. So I'm going to take the two highlighting colors and put them on my lid. And again, I haven't primed with anything. I'm not a big fan of primer. I think it blocks the pores. A lot of people break out. For me personally, I like to put as little on my face to clog everything up. So I keep it nice and simple. If you like to use a primer, use a primer of your choice. If you want to use an eyelid primer, you can do that too. I don't bother. If it's applied properly, chances are it won't crease that much anyways. And again, I'm mixing the two, the one that's iridescent and the one that's gold. And I like to put it, oops, I like to put on my cheekbones as well. So on the cheekbones, again, same idea, just to sort of Get a glow there to enhance the highlight that you already have on. Now you'll see, you'll notice I haven't covered my blemishes or anything yet. I'll do that at the end. I'm just getting my eyes on. There we go. So for crease, I'm going to use, uh, there's my brush. I'm going to use a combination of uh, this one here, the bronzer, and the peach. 
and the highlight to graduate all the way up. And then I'm going to use the same colors I used for my brow. Uh, this one right here. windshield wiper kind of motion and with my brush from MAC can't remember the number because it's faded it's so old but I love it it's a great crease brush and the makeup I'm doing today is just a very natural professional corporate no makeup makeup just enhance the eyes bring out the features You'll follow up with that bronzer color just up in here just to graduate it it's almost like a fake blending and then the peach on top of that again those two colors right in there and again that's just a very soft natural kind of look Next, liner, if you don't have liner or don't want to use liner, you can use a angle brush and you can use just a dark shadow or you can take a pencil and sort of, for example, let's say technically you could use this with an angle brush, your black or charcoal. Uh, I'm going to use my MAC pencil. Okay here and I think it's smolder or one of those you can take your angle brush a nice thin one and just grab some you can melt it with a uh, a lighter even and just grab that and then you're going to put it on so again I can't see very well what I'm doing but I'm going to take a look in my magnifying mirror I'm just going to dab it in, in the base of the lash line. And really what it does is just make the lashes look a little thicker. So like so. And already you can see it's making the eye pop a bit more. So again, if you're, if you're not comfortable using liquid liner, or you want to use a liquid liner but you don't have control with that um, appliance that comes with it, whether it's a, a tip, or a brush or whatever you can literally just use an angle brush and just pat in the pigment whether it's from your liquid liner again you can just brush it on it's also sanitary so if you're using you're sharing a liner with someone or it's a communal liner and then you can just spray it with a bit of alcohol when you're done and then you're good to go so again I'm just patting it in there into the lash base all the way along. If your eyes are closer set, then you don't want to take it all the way in. I have a hole in my left eye lid at the lash line, so I usually like to wear liner regardless, even if it's a brown. It's a chicken pox scar and that covers it just nicely. No one really notices it as long as I have that. Again, that's super, super soft, natural, not bad. And again, you can grab a little more from here, so literally just brush it, the tip, and then you have it on here. And then again, just Pat it in. You can sort of join it together eventually and try and draw a line, but if you focus on drawing a line, chances are it won't go straight. So I just pat it into the lash line to start with and then sort of join it all, smudge it together. You can do the bottom half as well, or either third with the same with the leftover so it's not too dark. And again, just to bring out the lashes.
Oops. The beauty of not using powder yet on your face also is that anything that smudges, literally you can just give a wipe and it's gone. So it's very easy to clean up messes and dribbles. I tend to dribble a lot. Then you can also use this for the inside line, the water line, which is great. So you're going to brush it in gently at the base. Grab some more product right there. A little more on this side. Again, it's no big deal if it smudges. You can fix that laughter.